Hello, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to film this quick video just um, to cover a couple of empties from the last uh, week or so, and then also just to kind of in general talk about the perfumes I've been wearing a lot lately. Uh, remember on this channel, um, there's nothing glamorous going on. I don't cover niche fragrances. I cover fragrances mostly that no one else is talking about because they're inexpensive. And I'm so tired that the reason I created this channel was to talk about normal, everyday, accessible fragrance and not to be just stuck on niche fragrances that cost a fortune. I won't spend that kind of money and there's you don't need to spend that kind of money to smell great. All right. I'm just starting off with a little rant. I'm really tired of that. So anyway, here I'm going to get started. So the first one is L'Odice, L'Odice uh, by Isimiyaki. This is an eau de toilette. This is a clean white musk fragrance with a little bit of floral notes. Um, there may be even some green notes in here that I detect when I'm wearing it. However, they're very much in the background. This is a very pretty white musk, crisp white shirt, you know what people call a white t-shirt kind of fragrance, perfect for summer, works well in the heat, performs well, lasts for hours, and is very inexpensive. And I highly recommend this, but you've got to like that kind of minimalistic, uh, plain fragrance. Um, since my husband and I moved, we downsized from a big uh, five-bedroom, three-bath house down to a three-bedroom, two-bath apartment. All I've really been wanting to wear are these kind of very stripped-down, basic, clean, uncomplicated fragrances. And this that is basically the best way to describe almost anything by Isimiyaki. Next up... I've been wearing a lot of JLo's Miami Glow. Now, this is my the third bottle. I mean, look at how much of this I've used. The third bottle of this that I have owned in the last three years, I would say, and that I've gone through. And after the last one, I thought I was done with this fragrance. I was really feeling kind of like I was over it. I was tired of it. But I grabbed it off the shelf a few days ago, and look at how much of it I've gone through probably close to half of this bottle. This is suntan lotion, solar notes, beachy with a little bit of mint. And the mint in there only adds to that beachy tropical quality. And why this fragrance is so well known, as I'm sure all of you know, is because not only is it inexpensive, but it is really good performing it projects, it lasts, it smells fabulous. This is nothing quite like this one um, that I have ever owned similar to it. It's, it's a flanker of her original glow, but it's really nothing like the original glow. It's still available inexpensively. Cannot recommend this enough. This is just a perfect summer fragrance and I'm really, really surprisingly enjoying it enough that I'm gonna buy another bottle. All right, next up, this is Perry Ellis 360. Now, this is a bit of a conundrum to me. Uh, this is came highly recommended on YouTube. I enjoy it. It is a soapy fragrance. It's kind of a yellow floral, fruity, soapy, clean girl, clean girl aesthetic kind of fragrance. But it has something in here. Now, I haven't looked up the notes because I'm, what I'm trying to do is give you my impression of wearing it rather than what the official notes show. There's something in here, citrus, and this it leans a little sour. And I don't mean sour in terms of spoiled. I mean, um, it's like grapefruit. You know how grapefruit is, it's not really sweet. It's more bitter, sour. Okay, so I think this maybe has grapefruit in it. I'm not entirely sure. And it's a little off-putting when I first spray it, but then on dry down, you just have this warm, glowing, yellow floral, white musk, soapy fragrance. And this also 
for an inexpensive fragrance, I paid under $20 for this full 100 ml. This will last easily six hours. And I've heard other people say it'll last eight or plus. Now, I don't get that much out of it. Even with overspraying, six is kind of the max, but still, that's a very good performance for a low budget fragrance. So again, this is Perry Ellis 360, the original. There's a lot of flankers to that one. All right, this is my scent of the day. This is called Casual, and this is by Paul Sebastian. And I believe Paul Sebastian um, is a clothing designer. I'm not 100% sure about that, but this Casual came out, if I remember rightly, in the 80s, 90s. This is really the quintessential summer white floral. So mostly what I get here is hyacinth. Now hyacinth, some people will call, quote, a grandma note. And I've talked a lot on my channel about how I love grandma perfumes or the perfumes that our mothers and grandmothers loved because I love my mother and my grandmother. And I like those old school perfumes. I feel very much united to women who came before me when I wear them rather than denigrate them. This is a big blast of hyacinth. This is one of my favorite hyacinth perfumes with a lot of white musk. And it's very dry. Uh, it's really clean and it cuts through humidity. So where I live right now, we're up in the low 90s, high humidity. And I still, I'm a runner and I still go running in that heat. And when I get back and I take a nice long bath, I like to put on these clean, crisp, where I feel it really helps me feel cleaner, smell cleaner. And this this projects moderately, I would say, lasts a good six hours. Absolutely gorgeous, but you've got to like um, hyacinth and white musk. Casual is very inexpensive. This uh, is definitely under $20 for a full 100 ml. And this is my second bottle, and I highly recommend it. All right, next up, I have an empty. This is Tommy Bahama Very Cool. So this is an aquatic fresh fragrance. Now this is supposed to be for women. It is marketed to women. I believe there is a very cool man, very cool for women. This is extremely unisex. There's absolutely nothing that's particularly female about this. Um, it does not perform. I can't recommend it because it really is more like a body spray but it is so refreshing and it smells so good. It's a clean, crisp, aquatic, beachy fragrance, absolutely gorgeous, um, very inexpensive as well. I don't, I think I paid maybe $22 for this. I used it up in a week. I just absolutely love it. I'm on the fence as to whether or not I will repurchase but if you're looking for performance, don't buy any, pretty much anything by Tommy Bahama that I've tried anyway. But I've really enjoyed this. Next up, I have another, uh, I have a citrus fragrance. Now, I love citrus fragrances. They don't tend to uh, perform well. This is a, I think it's German. It's Natural Cosmetic. Uh, it's in German right here. And it's Spike or Speak. Eau de Cologne, and this is a uh, organic fragrance. Now for a citrus, this is the strongest modern citrus fragrance I've ever tried. Very inexpensive. I got this on uh, eBay for in the low 20s, and this is a full 100 ml bottle. This is like fresh squeezed lemon juice, but it's got a hefty dose of, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the note. It's a citrus note, but it's very particular to masculine fragrances. And so it has a masculine touch to it. And so that, I'm not a real masculine, um, I can do unisex. I don't really enjoy wearing masculine fragrances. And um, so anyway, I highly recommend this. This is the best lasting, strongest, lemony citrus fragrance that I've ever experienced, but it's probably better for men. I used it primarily as a room, home, bedding uh, spray. I also wore it a bit, um, but it's something I think would be better off on uh, my husband. All right, and then I have just one left. So this is Katy Perry's Indie. 
This is also the celebrity scent, obviously very inexpensive. I completely emptied this bottle. I've had this probably for less than a year. And I had always said when I first bought it, it's kind of a white musk. It's what it is, is musk. If you look at the notes, it's just in the top, mid, base, musk, musk, musk. And it's several different kinds of musk. And I, musk is my favorite note. Absolutely love this fragrance. It's very light. This is a light skin scent. It's very uncomplicated. It's very it, mildly, but very pleasantly animalic. When I had first covered this in a haul, I had said they should have called, Katy Perry should have called this on my boyfriend's neck <laughs> because I remember being a teenager and um, my high school boyfriend, I used to love to snuggle up with him and I'd press my face to his neck and take a deep breath and, and it smells a lot like Katy Perry's Indie. And I mean that. This should be called your high school boyfriend. Uh, of course, when he's he's clean and not you know, in need of a shower. But anyway, there's this animalic beauty to this fragrance, but it's very light. Even with overspraying, you will never uh, be overwhelmed. It doesn't really perform very well. Although I really enjoyed it, I can't really recommend it. And I don't think I will repurchase it because it really is, uh, performs like a body spray. So um, that's what I have. I'm done. Let's see, I covered seven fragrances. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Take care.